Alright, how's it going? Everybody's Lonis here with a quick tip video for you guys. I'm getting a couple questions regarding PvP and how to get started. Um, so the first step is you're going to want to go ahead and go up to the top left where it has PvP here. And this is the PvP menu. Um, there is an actual separate instance you can go to and travel to and actually um, walk around and um, talk to vendors regarding PvP stuff and to do that you just hit enter PvP lobby and it'll take you directly to the heart of the mists as you can see and from here you can really um, do anything you can in a in a major city that or just wait for your game to start um, it's it's a kind of interesting area you can also do a lot of combat testing and rotation testing and in case you're into that um, just to kind of test your build um, so let's open up the map here and from here you can see you'll be spawned in the middle here and I believe all the waypoints should be unlocked already if not um, it's not too hard to get to um, if you have a glider if not then I'm pretty sure the waypoints are already active the first the main island will, is going to have the bank um, a laurel trader uh, the, t the trading post and a couple other vendors that are, are PvP specific. So let's hop on over there real quick. Here's the bank in case you need to deposit your rewards from PvP. Here are the other vendors and here are the weapon and armor vendors. And the cool thing with PvP is that everything is scaled to level 80 so everyone's got a fair and balanced chance uh, against each other um, here are the pvp vendors they sell pvp exclusive items um, that you can get through ranked pvp so let's see here to actually jump into a game um, you're just gonna, gonna go ahead and just hit this play button here and it'll queue you up for a pvp game um, and the more pvp you do the higher your overall PvP level is going to be. Mine is, you can see here at the bottom left, currently 22. And once you reach 20, I believe it is, you can actually compete in ranked uh, arena, which, you know, that's where a lot of the toxic uh, players are. You know, if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to get uh, yelled at and everyone's going to hate you. But that, don't let that discourage you. I go in any way and do the best I can. <laughs> um, here you have the leagues. This is where your actual rank PvP will show. Um, this is your reward chest. Each PvP game, whether win or loss, will give you some of this. More for winning, obviously. Um, but these are just point markers for each of, this, uh, each of these rewards here. So you get a chest every time you complete this. And then there's four chests in this in this uh, category and where is it here it is so you'll have the first chest which is cerulean I guess the next one's Jasper the next one after that is saffron and then uh, what does that say persimmon persimmon I don't know and then it just goes on and on and on and the last one is Byzantium um, and then of course you'll get First chest, second chest, third, what, whatnot, etc. Uh, but the last chest is what you actually want because it actually has, you know, PvP league tickets, as you can see there on the bottom of that description box. Um, those are actually you could turn in for some interesting uh, items. Let's see here. And this is your skill. You get more each time you do good or you rank down if you're doing really bad. Obviously, I'm horrible at PvP. <laughs> but reward tracks now with these these are very important you want to select a reward track that best correlates with what you actually want um, the more PvP you do the more points PvP, PvP points you get so all these things give you specific rewards but the end item is what you really really want to get so if you see something interesting like a desert armor box gives you a, um, a desert armor piece <laughs> which I believe is the Sun Spear or something like that don't quote me on that I'm not 100% sure um, right now I'm working on the legacy armor box which will give me a legacy armor piece of my choice just one keep that in mind it'll just give you one piece it won't give you the full set you'll have to keep working for that 
And then everything in between, every milestone, you'll get a reward box here. And everything in between will have many milestones. So you can keep getting tomes of knowledge and uh, all this other chests and loot and all that good stuff here. And then the game browser, you just search that for any local PvP games going on. Let me take you over to the actual place where you can test your attack, your attacks all together. So here initially we have these target golems, which if you haven't seen them before, they just take a massive amount of damage. Um, and they're all throughout the map too. This one's a dodge one where you can better perform dodges and learn how to dodge better. More golems. Um, and then across this bridge. Oh, look at that. almost forgot about that shit. So to the south of that main island, there's going to be some catapults. So you can test your catapulting skill. Because in some game maps, there are catapults you can use. Which can be very advantageous. And then throughout here, you're going to have more golems. And some mock PvP um, enemies. Eat one from each class, and someone came and wiped them all out. But you got warrior, necro, guardian, all that good stuff up here. And then over here, which is what I was trying to get to, you have your AOE golems. And from here, you can really see how much damage you can do in an area. Like, for, for instance, look at that. Three targets at once. It's a very big range. Um... So here's a good, good, definitely a good testing area. Another thing to keep in note or keep in mind is the build you use in PvP will stay whenever you're in PvP. So I would recommend jumping into the PvP lobby, which this is, and working on a build that preferably works for you initially. And after you kind of get more into it, and you wanna, you wanna get better. There's a, there's a website called Meta Battle, um, and I'll link that in the description. But that'll help you kind of figure out what build you want to go with for PvP. And for me, I believe it is totally random. I can't remember. I don't really PvP with my warrior. But if you go ahead and go open up your hero menu, and you go to your build, it'll show you here your build for PvP only. And that's, that's definitely a good thing to know if you want to build before you go into PvP. And another thing too, if you hit the PvP menu here, the second icon is PvP build. You can also hit that as well to start working on your build. Um, this is your PvP build Hero Mist Champions, which you can summon on specific maps to come fight with you. Your specializations, obviously, for PvP. And your equipment. Now you're only limited to one ruin and one trinket per uh, PvP build. And if if you really don't want to worry about it too much, you can just select build here on the bottom and just pick you know physical damage, control boon, removal, whatever, um, whatever fancies what you're going for really. Um, and once you do that, it'll also give you like some generic weapon that will scale up to 80. See, as you can see here, PvP uses normalized equipment attributes. Use your inventory or equipment panel to view item details. So basically, they're all going to do similar damage. It just depends on sigils and, and ruins and whatnot, what you put on them, and how much your actual attributes are for that build. Now, if it's getting a little too confusing, uh, trust me, it, it, <laughs> it really can be confusing at times um, but the big takeaway if if I had to say one thing is just just do it just uh, just play an unranked PvP match check it out see how you like it um, if it's not for you then it's not for you but you know it could be worse <laughs> it's actually not that bad PvP is pretty fun um, if you're doing a lot of casual there's a pretty chill community um, if you're doing ranked, just make sure that you know what you're doing. Um, but, yeah, I mean, that's really all you need to know. If there's any other questions you guys might have, um, just let me know and I'll see what I can do. Try to figure out for you. 
Um, if you like this guide, let me know. And if you have any suggestions, uh, just drop them in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching.